we have got take on the bench today uh, this is a take CD player and recorder model number CD RW890 mark 2 so this uh, particular model was launched in uh, August 2021 it's still on the sale in all over the world the price tag is 400 euros in the Europe so it's a uh, looks very sturdy it's a uh, quite heavy six six point half kilos of the weight solid built and it can uh, play CDR CDRW also and can record also it has a, a analog out and optical input an analog input also for recording the CD you can feed from any source and uh, just record it and for playback also it play variety of uh, CD tracks this is the tray it look like to me it's like a commonly used in computer those disc players especially this level well uh, we're gonna find it out uh, and here you have play pause stop and record buttons you have music escape recording level and the good thing which I like CD players with the headphones you know and with the volume control so for the private listening is very important so you don't need to disturb anybody around you you can just Hook up your headphone, off you go, listen to your favorite tracks. And this with this button you erase, finalize the disc, and synchronize one and all, auto and manual input select. When you analog in, optical in, analog in and optical in. So input you can select with this button. Display is very nice and bright. And uh, we see how it sounds like. So let me put my CD with the copyright free music, of course, otherwise I love to play my favorite music in our Turner or Enigma, but we cannot do it on YouTube, so. Yeah, so it comes out, we can close it. And amplifier is a reliable Technics SAEX 100 and here we go choosing the CD it closed probably is reading it now and still reading okay it find 19 tracks 49 minutes 34 seconds okay we go we cannot select somehow yeah we can okay we can select the tracks number 10 and we play it personally like the display
Can we have a peek inside to see what is inside the box? Let me open it up. Holy moly, I was right. They have used this commonly used in computer, this uh, CD, DVD writer. So they just put over there commonly used in computers. So they don't have any, they haven't used any mechanism for handling the CD. And this is SATA going over there. Okay, so this is a small PC. Okay, they use Telechips TCC8001. So this is a microprocessor. Basically, it's a small PC with its own firmware program to play and record the music. The SATA cable is coming, going over there, feeding it. Okay, uh, good thing they have used toroid cores. You see here in the in the uh, AC power line, they used a toroid core, and and this is a good filter. So all the interference from the AC line will be reduced. So you have a good and clean audio further. And here also they use because. This is going to the headphone and the micro, uh, uh, the, the input from here, you see both inputs are going through and here they also use a small toroid core before they feed this small circuit, which I think is a preamp, which can drive the headphone. So in the headphone also, you don't receive any, any interference uh, from electronic uh, uh, alternating currents in the house and uh, other fluctuations so you have a clean audio this is the good thing they have used this is the main power supply this is a sub power supply okay this is this is a circuit for the for the display and this is for all inputs and uh, you see uh, there is no deck chip because it's uh, the cd and this uh, dvd players uh, made for the computers they have their own circuitry so basically the uh, they have used that one. I don't know which company it is, but uh, we, can, we can see it. Uh, no, there is no name, but several companies they are making. Toshiba is making a lot of other companies. These uh, DVD CD drives, which are in the computers, basically desktop computers they use. So uh, you just give it a power, then you have a SATA cable, you know, you have already input output, you know and uh, then you process it and then you uh, convert into analog signal and you amplify here you see you have two small amplifiers for the analog out uh, if you can able to see over there these two and this is the bridge rectifier these are two fuses and uh, they have two bridge rectifiers so it appears uh, they are doing uh, two separate power supplies maybe for this device separately and for the circuit separately i guess uh, one is going over there for the front panel so build quality is good but uh, they could have used their own cd mechanism instead of using this uh, computer cd player you know which is quite cheap you just put it in the box and uh, this is the this is, I, I was not uh, anticipating that a company like Tech will use that inside the CD player and recorder. They will use that computer CD recorder and player. But yeah, that's how it is. It's a cheap solution. And uh, one way is good. If it's broken, you just take it out, buy another one. Usually they are not expensive, you know, under 50 euros. You can put the new one, connect SATA cables and off you go. Power supply and SATA cable. And and you are good to go and even you can use an external you just take the SATA cables out and you can use the external one if you want I mean but uh, uh, since uh, the quality I think uh, uh, will be compromised but uh, yeah that's how it is this 400 doll 400 euro uh, CD recorder and player by take using this uh, 
computer disk disk player and recorder wow this is surprising maybe everybody is doing it nowadays in the latest cd players i have to find it out but this is first time i see yeah it's not cheating but it's a cheap way to sell a product instead of investing uh, building their own cd mechanism the good one study one uh, why not use the computer one they just put it and they fix it and how, how it goes i will show you this is the digital input optical one analog input analog output otherwise features are good you know if you see the cd player it has a good recording feature you know so you just input any audio analog or optical in and you can record it and you can also play back quality was good we heard it sound quality is is, is good and build quality is also good i mean uh, this kind of computer cd disc players and recorders they last for ages you know even many of my computers we change them because the os will be old operating system and we upgrade it but still cd players in there they are working so they will last for forever yeah i hope you guys like uh, this video please uh, tell me in the comments if you like more of this kind of videos where we can go dig deeper inside the hi-fi equipment the build quality and the components they use and the way they make the audio equipment nowadays thank you for watching